I didn't understand what was wrong with me. I did what a lot of people tried to do. I tried to run away from my problem. I'm a third generation shearing and I have a son who's also a shearer. Sheep shearing has brought me out around the world 13 different countries. I suppose I've been very fortunate. I've had the opportunity here representing Ireland 11 times in world championships. There's a lot of pressure put on farmers that wasn't there years ago. To be a good farmer now, you need to be able to deal with the weather. You probably need to be a lawyer. You need to be a mechanic. You need to be an electrician. You need to be a good stock person. You have to be a little bit of all those to be a farmer. So it's big changes to what it has been years ago. I've been um, one of those people that found myself in a very dark place, in a bad place for quite a long time. I was working in one of those countries, which was the north of Norway. Every night I would go to bed quite early. I wasn't eating properly, I wasn't sleeping properly, and the only thing in my head 24-7 that I just wanted to end my own life. My mind was on overtime, just racing here, there, everywhere, just gone, just an absolute nightmare, thinking of all these crazy things, but I couldn't stop it, I couldn't control it. But I actually done in Norway, I took what I described as the first step, and the first step for anybody is the hardest step you will ever take. This couple I was working for, the farmer and his wife, she was a psychiatric nurse, and I got a new job at Sheridan three or four miles down the road. And I happened to say to her this day, uh, I don't think you have a lot of English, could you help me with some translation? And she said, no problem, just ring your call anytime you want. Uh, but if I was being honest with her, which I wasn't, and being honest with myself, that's what, not what I wanted to say to her. I wanted to say, I'm in the depths of despair, could you help me? But her answer was, yes, no problem, just ring your call anytime you want. That was a lifeline for me. Went home, went to my family GPs. I was very quickly diagnosed. I was suffering with depression and I was given some medication. It's probably the worst place you ever could be. Probably one of the better ways of describing it. It's like going through a long, dark, twisty, narrow tunnel. And it can be very steep in places and very, very narrow. It's difficult to get through that tunnel on your own. But if you can keep going, you will get through that tunnel. And the closer you get to the end, there is a light there and that light will get brighter and brighter. We are living in stressful times, but it's very important to also understand that farming brings its own unique stresses, basically because of the nature of farming and the demands made of it and the lifestyle that goes with it. So it's really important that farmers make time for themselves to get off the farm, meet a friend for a cup of coffee, a chat, a tea, join a card game, make that connection with other people. But it can also be a cycle, it could be you know, a jog, it could be a swim, but what's really important is making that time for yourself. The one thing about this mental well-being problem, you cannot carry or continue to carry this load on your own. You need to share it. And I accept it can be quite difficult to share with your family or maybe even going to a GP. But call a friend and say you'd like to have a chat or could I meet him for a cup of tea. That's the first step. We're all human and none of us are an exception to stress, anxiety. But what's really, really important is to go and seek that help. And, and it can be go to the doctor, you know, there's an awful lot of excellent helplines out there. Just pick up the phone in the quietness of your own place, your own mobile phone inside the tractor, and just make that call and say hello to the organisation and say, I'm struggling. And, and that's the start of the conversation. There is help out there, there is support out there. And if nothing else comes from this, I will just coax people, take that first step, talk to somebody. There is a light at the end of that long dark tunnel and it will work for you as well.